Hi, I'm Dr. Christina Johns, and this is your video prescription. We're going to look at what it means to have a laceration and how to take care of your wound at home. A laceration is a cut or a tear in the skin. Depending on how deep or long it is, your caregiver may have closed the wound with either stitches, staples, a special glue, or steri strips. Lacerations are often not repaired if they are very superficial, puncture type wounds, or if it has been more than 12 hours after the injury because of the high risk of infection with late closure. But no matter how it was treated, let's talk about how to care for the wound at home so it heals well, scars as little as possible, and doesn't get infected. For the first 24 hours, leave the area dry and untouched. After 24 hours, you can start cleaning the wound. This should be done once a day with regular soap and water. Avoid scrubbing. This can disrupt the closure and break open the wound. Antibacterial ointments can be used before each dressing change to help the wound heal and to prevent infection. But don't apply ointments if glue was used for the repair, because these ointments can break the glue apart. After cleaning, apply a gauze dressing. I like to use gauze wraps. You can also use gauze patches with medical tape to hold the dressing in place. Try to rest the injured area, especially for lacerations over joints like the ankle, knee, or elbow. Moving the extremities can stretch the skin and prevent good wound healing. For pain control, try using acetaminophen or ibuprofen. Both are available over the counter without a prescription. If the laceration was stitched, the sutures may need to be removed. If non-absorbable sutures were placed, they need to be removed by a medical professional. In general, they are taken out within five days if on the face, and seven to 14 days if on other body parts. If absorbable sutures were placed, they don't need to be removed. They dissolve on their own in three to 14 days. Don't pull on these stitches. They will fall off when they're ready. The same thing goes for glue. It falls off on its own in five to seven days. If staples were placed, they need to be taken out in about seven to 10 days using a special staple remover. You don't need bandages after the sutures are removed, but if the wound is on a cosmetic and exposed surface, it's helpful to put sunscreen, SPF 15 or greater, on the area once daily for a few months. Wounds are more sun sensitive so it's helpful to protect the skin to limit scarring. You may have been given a tetanus booster shot. If not, check with your doctor to see if one is necessary. Now, most wounds heal well, but sometimes the wound edges can separate and some wounds get infected. Signs of infection include pus or discharge, increasing redness, pain to touch, unexplained fevers, or swelling of the area. Look for signs of infection every day when you change the bandage. An infection may require a prescription antibiotic medicine or for the wound to be opened to allow pus to drain out. If the wound edges separate, it's tricky because this can't be fixed right away. But there are a few options, so call your doctor if the wound edges come apart or if you're just not sure about the way the wound is healing. Thanks for watching this video prescription. 